In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update Xenia Canary for Xbox Series X and S to the latest version. Xenia Canary, like other apps, is being constantly worked on and developed, and as such, there are going to be times when new builds come out and you might want to update to them to get better compatibility, features, what have you. And as with other UWP apps, updating it isn't the most complicated process, especially if you have your settings all set to save to USB. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, this guide is assuming that you have set up Xenia Canary previously using one of my setup videos and as such are running your user folder from USB. If you're not running your user folder from USB, definitely recommend doing so because it just makes things so much easier in terms of just getting your saves backed up and installing DLC. It's just a lot more simplified. But the first thing we're gonna do to get updated to the latest version of Xenia Canary is download the latest version of Xenia Canary from Sir Mangler's GitHub. So a link to this will be in the description below, but just grab the latest version as indicated by the nice green latest next to it. And we're just gonna download the Apex bundle for that release. With that downloaded, get your Xbox booted up into dev mode and connected to your network and make note of your remote access IP address and get logged into the Xbox device portal. Once in the device portal, we just need to uninstall our previous version of Xenia Canary so we can install the new one. So one method of doing so is to use the device portal itself, go to actions, click on uninstall, or on the Xbox dev mode home screen, you can scroll down to Xenia Canary, press the back button or view button, whatever it's called, and just press A on uninstall, which is what I'm gonna do here. And there we go, Xenia Canary is now uninstalled and we're ready to install the newest version. So under my games and apps, click on add. Now click on choose file and navigate to where you have Xenia Canary downloaded. So for me, I just have it on the desktop here. So just gonna select that. Now click on next. There's no dependency, so just click on start and the install process will commence. And there we go. The newest version of Xenia Canary is now installed and ready to go. So you can just go ahead and close out of your Xbox device portal. We no longer need it. Now back over on the Xbox, navigate down to your newly installed Xenia Canary and press your back, the back or view, whatever it's called button again. And this time head down to view details and change its UWP type from app to game. Otherwise it will not work. With that changed, I like to restart the console. This isn't necessary most likely, but I like to do it anyway, because why the heck not? Now that the Xbox has restarted, go ahead and boot into Xenia Canary. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and set our paths to our user folder. So just go over to paths, press A, and we're gonna set our config folder path. So again, if you followed my guides, you have a Xenia folder on your USB drive that you're just gonna press A on, and then just press the back button to select it. Now from here, just gonna press the guide button and quit out of Xenia Canary, and launch back in. Now back under paths, we're gonna add a path to our games folder. So this'll just be wherever you have them stored on your USB drive. So I have mine under games and Xbox 360 games. There we go. And I'm just gonna select that. And now all of my games are gonna be listed here under the game list. Unfortunately, it still catches a lot of other executables that are less desirable, but Oh well, it still looks a lot nicer than it used to when the UI first came out. But if desired from here, you could go up, change any settings under the settings list. It's not the most recommended thing to do, but if you have game specific settings you need to set, come in here and do them. But with that, your Xenia Canary install is now updated to the latest version for you to resume enjoying your Xbox 360 emulation on Series X and S. And as such, we're just gonna go ahead and call this video here. So thank you again, as always, for watching this short tutorial. I hope it helps you get your Xenia Canary updated to the latest build without issue. But here at the end of the video, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a very long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions, thank you so much for always believing what we do here and helping us keep it going for so long. Couldn't do it without you. 
But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.